But this man's leading them onto the ground at the moment, Jared Hayden Ballantyne in his 100th game. Yeah, he's a very popular man here, Hayden Ballantyne, and uh, he's having a magnificent season. The crowd, the Purple Hayes, are on their feet celebrating a young man who's uh, yeah, it's good, isn't it? having an absolute uh, cracker of a season. If you take it, oh, that'll be. That's a free well, kick. that's a free kick. It's almost getting in Brendan Goddard territory, that, from last week. Just unnecessary. Duffield, again, gives to Mundy. Back to Duffield. Into the 50. Opportunity oh, was there for Clancy Pierce. Ballantyne around the corner to light up the game. Mundy with an opportunity. Ballantyne, can he find it oh. on the line? Of course he can. Look out. They definitely they needed it on that occasion. They did. That's or well, might be five. Oh. He's got Mazungu is going to speed into the 50, but it's Ballantyne he wants and Ballantyne he gets. The bloke on the mark, he's got two considerations. He's just got to uh, pretend he's going to jump. He's got to stay grounded. Get some early applause, and that's why Hayden Ballantyne puts through another. Get it through to Mundy. Off the left boot. Oh, he's carved out a great kick for Ballantyne. Make sure they win the quarter. Ballantyne comes in and nails the kick. Puts it through. He reported for striking, but you reported? You reported for striking. This is a report, centre frame here, Ballantyne on bug. This is the report here, just ah, the whack there, there. And the push down. And well read again by Ward. Oh, brilliant smother. Ballantyne, this could be anything! Oh! Just goes across the face. We kick to Barlow. Unfortunate uh, grand final in front of goals, but he's been kicking the <laughs> good. Didn't need to at all. Straight through the middle. And he could slide in and become that extra tall defender. Or he could be a, an extra tall forward. He can play midfield, we know. And you suspect that really he'll play sort of a wing flanky roles, but as you're saying, Pavlic collects it back from Neil. Here's the handball through. The ball in from Johnson. Valentine! The little man climbs again. He's got to be in the All-Australian discussion, Jonah. Two steps. And he's fifth. Zach Clark. Look at Ballantyne. Will he take him on? He looks at Rivers and he says, you're a little old. Oh, young and I'm sneaky. Around one. Ames lets it rip. Oh, Ballantyne. He just looked at him and he said, I have got to cover Jarrett. You are not the same that I am. <laughs> Here comes the Fremantle pressure now. You haven't got time to look around. Look at Tui with the straight arm. And he laughs at Ballantyne. Yeah, look at the light ladder here. And have a look at this, Richo. It's oh, just right going here. to open up a little bit here now. Yeah, Hayden's... Look at his jumper. And Hayden. finally, Ballantyne got one, and the umpire said his jumper didn't right get here. ripped by itself. No need for it. It's a bare-breasted Hayden Ballantyne who's going to snap from 40 metres out around the body and too much too early. Oh, boy. Oh, it's really firing up now. There's plenty going on. Simpson giving it to Ballantyne. Ballantyne has no clothes left. Boy. Walker, the pressure. Ballantyne, the tackler. And he's been given another one. Yeah, and he a has a little whisper there, in Walker's there, ear. And he says, see, mate, oh, I'm good. Oh, you can't touch me on the head. Just walk across from there. Okay. It's 50 metres because Michael kicked it away. It's 50 metres. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Oh, it's just bubbling over here at any hand. And a little right ripper to the guts from Hayden as well. He's a sneaky little man. And does he now? He knows how to get under the skin of the crowd and the opposition. Ballantyne will go. Fremantle by nine points. This man has got no clothes left. I implore you not to use those words again to me, OK? Or any umpire. Bryce, do you understand that?
Sunset. Thank you. I appreciate it. The umpire speaking to Bryce Gibbs there. Yeah, obviously not happy with something that Bryce Gibbs said, but a lot of feeling in this yeah. game, Richo. The crowd's right into it, and the players certainly are. And he's always front and centre, isn't he? Of any sort of niggle, but he gets under the skin of the opposition. He draws three kicks. The 50-metre penalty. Jamison, I think, kicked the ball away. Two to Ballantyne. G. Clark smashed into Cruiser. I think it was in the middle. Pierce penetrating foot. It got to go, Scotland, and he does. Oh. And he's knocked his own man out in Simpson. I think he's in Gaga land, Simpson. Well, that he was always gutsy. goes back, Simpson. Very gutsy. Yeah. And a good grab by Heath Scotland, too, with the pressure coming from his teammate. But well played both the Carlton players. Scotland wide to Cruiser, who got belted in the ruck there before by Zach Clark. Mundy, tough, bruising encounter this game. It is really good to watch. Advantage paid. The magnet. Barlow, long footy, sand lands the giant in the middle, Mundy couldn't quite get it. And Simpson, who doesn't know where he is, advanced the footy in the right direction at least. Here's Kerno, one of the athletes on show tonight, arm filled with a tackle on DeBoer. It still goes on. This is unbelievable. It's a war at Etihad Stadium between these two sides. There's barely a clean disposal in this game at the moment because it's just enormous pressure. Look at Simpson and Scotland, courage from both players, but there is no time and space at all out there at the moment. Judd, Pierce, arm wrestle. You can see Sanderlands has dropped down to full forward again and they're double teaming in Watson and Walker down there at the moment. And Hayden Ballantyne, he's got his new jumper on. He's ready to go and wants to get back in amongst it. I reckon he'll be a chance to give it to some more Carlton players. I wonder when the old one will go on eBay. It's uh, one that we'll be able to identify, that is for sure. Here he is, the little man. Ballantyne to Maine. Needs it to sit up. Maine in the pocket. What does he do now? Left foot, very unselfish. Really good football from Maine. Well done, Fremantle. I tell you what, for all his stirring up and getting under people's skin, Hayden Ballantyne, he can play footy. Yeah. He won a crucial ball there, got it forward. Main, terrific play, terrific composure, but also the selfless play gets it to uh, a Fremantle teammate and Richo Mick not well, real happy. Well, he knows how crucial this game is. So two, he kicks two goals. Now Freo can kick three in a row. Neil, for a 15-point Fremantle lead, that equals their game high. Well, three goals in a row for Fremantle when Carlton seemed to have all the play, all the momentum, and almost turned the tables on Fremantle with the way they want to play. Freo have responded outstandingly well. They've won the ball in the middle of the ground. It's been a fantastic contest all night. Reese Palmer needs to go here, does. And they're away. Ballantyne, bounce to the midfield. Pavlich, half forward. Taylor, big fist, back to Ballantyne, back to Pavlich. Can he kick this one? Handballs it back to Ballantyne, kicks a goal. Oh, they're darling, Ballantyne! What about that? Ellis gets it moving quickly. Well, we've got an opportunity. Perhaps we go down to Dr. Rowan White. Well, we might just pause for the moment because... It's just going to get ugly here for the Tigers if they're not careful. Spur over the top and Ballantyne will go back and have a set shot. Victory for the little guy. We kept the doctor waiting. Well, it is Ballantyne who kicks accurately and the doctor has seemed to be in control early on in the second. Attempting to do there for Fremantle. You just need to find an uncontested mark. The worst thing you can do is kick to a contest. Well, it won't slow down now because there's another turnover. Lockie Neal chasing hard was Morris. Didn't get there. Ballantyne from 40. This would really hurt the Tigers. Ballantyne delivers. A couple of Rolls Royces of the competition here. Cochin and Mundy. Mundy did well. Favoured a little by the bounce. Gives it to Hill. High ball inside 50. Ibbotson waiting down Ballantyne. Now goal number three. Bullets the ball to Serban. He's got a runner in Neil. Or you can choose the skipper. He does the latter. And the skipper kicked the first two of this third term for the Dockers. And the long ball from Maine directed to Ballantyne. He got the last two of the second term. And he can get another here in the third. 
to make it seven on the trot for the Dockers. Straight back. Time back on. For their next six, they will go in heavy favourites in all of them. So Ballantyne, he gets another, and the Dockers right now in complete control. Gave the ball off to Edwards, Chaplin now running hard, handball not ideal, set Ellis up, he somehow got it out, and now a chance for Sylvia, got it from Pavlich, did well, drew the man, gave it to Ibbotson, now Sutcliffe, and look at this, Fremantle players everywhere, main unselfish, five for Hayden Ballantyne. Who runs out of defence. Not a lot to kick to. Hill and Newman. Newman will be sweating on a good bounce. It sat nicely for him. Ballantyne to Lidio. He got his handball away, but not accurately. Main. Hill back to Main. Hill can break. Well held up by the Tigers for the moment. And now Duffield. He looks upfield and Ballantyne kept going. And he can shoot for number six to equal his PB. Further up the field, affect the tackle and push forward. Right on the 50 when he kicks, it's a powerful kick from the little man for the second time in his career. Hayden Valentine has half a dozen. Went across the line, and I suppose technically he's there, but... Great crack. It was Hilda Sutcliffe drilling footy to Valentine. Couldn't quite hang on. Around the front, here he goes. He's got speed. Head down. Outstanding, outstanding from Hayden Ballantyne. He got out on the lead, but it was his second effort. Didn't go to ground. Stayed involved in the contest and then does what he does so well. Used his pace, steadied and kicked a massive goal.